we got called to rescue another home from a bad install. After arriving to the home, we spotted strands falling, which meant the install either had very little Govi clips placed or they were not properly anchored. The last installer only installed seven strands total out of the 12 in the homeowner's 200 foot kit. So we will install all 12 strands with its LED driver module after the fifth strand. The power adapter and controller were installed working from the back to the front. So we will be flipping all the strands so the controller is in the front and the lights will stream from left to right around the home. Take a look at what this power adapter says here. For indoor use only, dry location use. So we'll be placing this in the attic. We have noticed this on a few other Gobi rescues. Not sure why anyone thinks it's necessary to hide lights within eaves. A total of five lights were found here and other eaves, which totals about seven feet extra in length. As we placed a light at the peak, it took six lights to the left, counting the peak light, and five to the right. We started a factory female connection on the left, Eve, to use a four foot Govi extension and then made a custom jump on the right, Eve. A small hole was drilled out just enough to fit a three pin 18 gauge wire for the jump. We lined the red with the red, green with yellow, and blue with white. Then we did a color match paint to hide the wire. Our rescue ran into the night a few hours and then we returned another day to finish 80 more feet of the install. Not only did we flip the strands, we spaced them two inches throughout the install. Here we have the fifth strand and this is where we will install the LED module driver. The pro lights are spaced 18 and a half inches apart. We space our lights and then install the driver as shown.